Right then, ladies and gents, welcome along to the Springer front end build for the Honda Rebel 250. So a bit of a recap for the fixed forks. So when we last left them, uh, I basically placed them in the jig, ready to be welded. They were tacked in place, but I was just waiting for some warmer weather. I did plan on bringing them in the house just to keep the parts all warmed up and then get it all welded. But uh, we've had a few nice days of weather, so perfect time to be doing that. So that's what we're going to carry on with now. So I'm going to get these forks completely welded up and then get everything ground up, filed down, and start fitting it on the bike. So that's the welding all done and dusted on the fixed fork. So what I've done there is just basically taking off any excess uh, material that's left over from the bracket and the welding. So I've just taken that off with a grinder and a bit of a kind of grinding pad. Now what I'm going to do is just finish off uh, the fork with a file. So my large file, thinner files, uh, finer file I should say, and then just kind of sand it all over, get it nice and tidy.
Okay, so new addition to the drill press. So we've got a new chuck, new chuck and spindle bearings because uh, the previous chuck had horrendous run out. It was fine for a few bits and bobs, but yeah, it just started to become a bit of a pain in the backside. So new chuck, new spindle bearings, and it feels like a different drill. Um, yeah, just so much nicer. Okay, so um, I've already done this side. You may have seen that already. What I'm going to do now is just drill through the two discs. Uh, so they're bolted together, drill through them, so they'll keep um, the holes central to one another. Uh, and then I'm going to tap one of the discs, so then I can uh, play some bolts through that. Okay, so that's the perch plate ready to be assembled. So the spring mountain discs, I'm gonna call that. Uh, so they're all finished up. I've countersunk the top disc just to look a bit nicer for the fixings. So they just fit in there nicely, it's nice and flush. Not that you're gonna be able to see them anyway because they're gonna be covered up by the spring, but I know they look good. Um, originally I was going to, well had some discs machined up uh, ready to be welded in place on the perch plate, but I wasn't keen on the look um, and I didn't think Yeah, again, you wouldn't be able to see it the, the welds in in place and what have you but I just yeah To me it just didn't look tidy enough. So that's why I went for this option So it's come a bit late in the, the build, but you know these things happen Right then guys, so some additional features for the active bracket. Basically what I've done is just come up with these. They're designed to give a bit more feature to the active bracket and also strengthen up the drilled out section. So this section here, so that's drilled out all the way through and then it's threaded. So this wall's quite thin. So I thought what I'll do is add a bit of strength to it. So basically what these are is uh, some mild steel rod, which I've turned down in a lathe, and then I've put a bit of thread on the end. That is just a bit of a feature. I can put a dome nut on there. Like that. I may do something else with it, I don't know yet. So the rest of it, I basically center drilled through the rod and then took a hacksaw and cut all the way up the length of the rod. Took a bit of time. And then the last bit I've just filed out just so it's a nice, Kind of fit I'll get that welded in place and it just adds a bit more feature to it and strength to it
so here's me thinking that this was going to be a straightforward process. Uh, honestly, I thought it was going to take probably about 30 minutes, half an hour, just to kind of get it in the jig and then drop a couple of tack welds because that's what it's all designed for, just so I can tack weld the perch plate in place and then take it all apart and get it welded up. Um, as well as that, the active spring as well. Ah, oh, God, it's not. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the, the jig, the wooden jigs, it took me like maybe half an hour or something just to kind of mock up and put together. Um, but it's just the measuring, it's the measuring, the levelling, the measuring, the levelling, again and again and again and again. To be honest, it's probably me being a bit OTT, but oh, I, don't know, I don't want to get it wrong, I've put a lot of work into it. Loads of hours filing. Because I've ended up getting blisters on all my fingers and digits and what have you. I tell you what, let's have a look. Let's have a look what's going on. So I've come to the decision that I don't really need the triple, the triple tree on the top. Um, it's not really doing any benefit uh, for the time being. Yeah, I'll put it on on the final. I'm going to start tacking it up, but you know, it's just kind of getting in the way. So yeah, I. Uh, pretty sure I don't need that in place for the time being. Um, I think the key, well, the key sections are the lower tree and the rockers and obviously the pivot points. Uh, and get, getting these uh, fixed forks square and everything. Um, so yeah, that's what it's looking like at the minute. So I've got the active fork just kind of laying on top. So I think what I'm going to do is, uh, see I'm adding to it already. Uh, what I'm going to do is add the spindle. So the spindle which is going to run through here. So I'm going to put that in place. I'm also going to put it on a block which I need to level out. And then get the rockers angled at a certain it'll be about 30 degrees put the active forks in place get that all bolted up and squared up uh, it's not really necessary this end um, yeah it's not a big deal this end because this is going to be kind of almost floating around with the spring so yeah uh, so yeah that's the next steps uh, as I said I thought it'd be a five minute job, clearly it's not. 